you know, I showed up and I was very, uh, I was very disheartened to see that everybody was over there in that one particular corner. I think it was awesome that uh, that they're doing what they're doing right now. Um, when I came, um, I was like, F this, you know, this is not right. It's well within our constitutional right that we can be here. And so I just grabbed a drum and I came over and I started drumming. And then everybody followed. That was that. It only takes one drum, right? Only takes one drum. I, I'm, I was ready to go to jail. How do you feel about your right for freedom of speech in this country? Do you think this is important to us? It is very, it's very important. And uh, if people don't speak up, we don't get what we need. We need to take care of our homeless. We need to make sure that we have places for them to go. We also need to make sure that we have mental health care for them as well. Tell me how you think sleep deprivation affects the mental health of our homeless population. <laughs> it is incredible. There's one thing that they, uh, their moods are fucking erratic. And I, myself, I have been homeless. I actually grew up right here on the streets from 13 to 18. So yes, I understand the unfortunate sleep deprivation, the not being able to go and shower, not being able to get food when you need it. So not only are you slept to five, you're deprived of sleep, you're also deprived of mal you're, you're malnutrition. And then on top of that, there's no money and you're dirty. So it can be a very huge issue, yeah. It's a huge issue, yeah. So are you proud of your town for taking back its plaza? I am. I, I, am, I am extremely thankful for you, to you, for being the person who is willing to step out there. Thank you. Thank you.